shines, but we're gonna find out right now as we're getting into game one of Winners Round 3. Racket Mundo playing Wario versus Samaran, the German Meta Knight. Let's see what they can do. Starting off with a taunt, classic Mundo. Samaran is just kind of standing there like, what am I playing against? <laughs> there it is, the dash attack. Already a, a, a clean, a clean 29, 33%. Mundo's gotta catch his footing. All right, just like that, you know, don't hold that jab too long because Wario does have that super fan, uh, super... Mm, oh, here it is. Look at that, man. Didn't read B reverse to a B, knew it wouldn't kill yet, but did you see how perfectly that Wario just flew above Meta Knight when he was uh -huh. using them up airs? Okay, jumped a little bit early, couldn't make up the horizontal difference. Because that's interesting about Meta Knight, he has fantastic dash speed, but his air mobility is uh, actually really lacking. Yeah, which he compensates by his multiple jumps, of course. Yeah, definitely. But in terms of speed, it's pretty slow in the air. And I like this play by, by Mundo. Uh, his presence is uh, pretty close to Meta Knight, but never overextended. Ooh. Whoa, man, yeah, that was a teleport if I ever saw one. I don't care if you got armor on your shoes, man. You can't, a, you can't contest the that jump. There was a commando launch. <laughs> 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 Shout out to Modern Warfare 2, man. Indeed. Back in the day. So, but yeah. uh, as I was trying to say, uh, Wario is playing around Meta Knight, but never overextending. So yeah. still not being the first one to throw out an actual attack. That is the playstyle that Mundo excels at. And he doesn't yeah. care about the damage deficit because he is looking for the waft. He yeah, will always be looking for that waft. At this point, uh, Depending on the there side of is. the stage, I was about to say that Waft is gonna connect and kill. And that's so scary because every time he is trying to get away, doing defensive, so you think you gotta get up there with a hitbox, but you know, one of these times it's gonna be a Waft. Mm. And if you're not holding your shield, you're gonna get hit. And that's when you lose your early stocks. And the funny thing about Wario is that he can extend his lead even without doing damage, which is just by being staying alive. Oh, yeah. Just by charging his Waft. Because he's, uh, he's gonna get more Waft now. It's uh, time is of the essence for Samuel. Nice little forward throw. He might stay it a bit, but at this point in the game, that is pretty irrelevant. And forward throw does do the most damage. And he misses the shuttle loop. No punish from Mundo, though. Punishes the forward smash, which is actually kind of impressive because there's almost no lag on that, as most of you know. All right. Dash attack to RB, classic kill confirm. Indeed. So Samaran's still in this, just 50% on him. That's not something that's, uh, you know. That, that's something that Meta Knight can make it easily back yeah, from. It's a funny parallel between these characters. As long as you've got Waft, Wario can always win. And Meta Knight, just being the character he is, can yeah. always win. Then just matter if the you, deficit. you know, input and read the DI correctly, uh, input your, your, your up airs, it can be oh. all done within seconds. Oh, and Mundo with the roll backwards, that was exactly what he needed to yeah. avoid this forward smash. Could have lost an early stock right there. It's not just fast, it is powerful. Mundo was getting pressured immensely, but he made it back into a neutral state. Which is where he wants to be. Look at him jump around, man. You ain't catching him. And he, yeah. Already rumbling in his belly. Duffs the approach with a nice forward tilt. Meaty hits. That's what I like. Semiron, man, he is on the hunt. There we go. Got a dash tag. No follow-up, though. Not quite yet. Will he get it the second time? Oh, mm, yeah, probably expecting the aggressive option, the dash tech or the dash right. grab. After that poke with the, with the down tilt. Yeah, so now the waft is wasted, and now we have a clear advantage for Semiron, and he does it with a forward air. Yeah, a after that first talk, it was pure author authority from, from uh, Semiron. Yeah, yeah, that was a fantastic forward air to catch. It knew that he wasn't going to for the air dodge. I mean, yeah. Mundo uses relatively little air dodge for Wario. Mm -hmm. uh, and he just got him, and uh, it was smash fill. So yeah, that border is real, real close to the stage. Now it it, it might be interesting to know that the Netherlands don't have any Meta Knight players. We used to have Azriel, but he's full cloud now. So this matchup might be a little bit of an inexperienced matchup for Racket Mundo. Then again, Wario is a very rare character as well. So unless Semiron has played with Stick in his country, he should be pretty new to Wario. All the same. Uh, let's see what he can do with the bike. A clean hit with the bike, that's 26%. Yeah, that's uh, that's some good damage output. Definitely, but uh, pretty hard to hit, of course. Alright. Oh. 
Yeah, I mean, he got caught a couple of times jump, uh, dash attacking into the jump. But honestly, the hitbox on that dash attack from Madeline is amazing. So if there is a move that can, you know, beat out or at least trade with jump, uh, that's definitely one of the contenders. Uh, jabbing the bike is not appreciated, and he catches a back air for his efforts. Mm. And here we see uh, that retreating playstyle from Mundo coming in play once again. And scary, man. Whenever he's just poking at your shield and you know he can't punish. Yeah, but it seems Semiron is adapting correctly. Oh, and once again that teleport into his mouth. Ooh, auto cancel back air. Good stuff by Wreck and Mundo. But, oh man, that's dangerous. Again, he's using the forward air and he's just not air dodging. Mm -hmm. And that's where he got caught last time for the kill. Oh, okay, down air that won't confirm into a, a waft this time. No, definitely not, because he got the final hit. Because you need a little bit of rage, but he does have a little bit of rage to make that cancelled their combo into the half waft, which he should have by now. Yeah, that's more than enough damage. Oh man, he tried to catch the approach with the force smash. That's almost never gonna work. Risky option right there, but not getting punished for it whatsoever. But Samuel really knows how to play around the kill options of Wario teams, uh, aside from the waft. And whenever he is trying to get away, he's never rolling in. He is always retreating away from Mar Wario. <gasps> Excellent tech by Mundo, and he yeah. avoids the up smash as well. Is that it? No, he didn't want to pop the full waft. He did not. He wants to save it for the second stock, which he might regret in the end. Just one pummel, too little to kill. But yeah, man, whenever you're playing versus Wario and you're not sure and you want to do uh, safe, just move away from him because his horizontal mobility mm. on the ground is really bad. And I'm surprised he still went for the F throw because, you know, the Wario main he is, he should know that won't kill and just steals his move. Oh, there it is. Down to the end to grab. Up throw is definitely not gonna. Oh, it's DI mix what? up, baby. DI mix up. Semiron got caught off guard. Apparently, because he did one straight up, and that is the first time in my life I have seen the <laughs> Wario up throw kill. Especially on not down the city, you know? Yeah. Crazy stuff here by Mundo. Semiron's not gonna give up though. Gets grabbed again. Yeah, so these players find themselves in uh, the same situation they did last time, but we all know that how Semiron managed to, to, to you know, sneak the win in there. This time it's not looking too good though! Midtrier into Waft! Yeah man, it was 46 post hit by yeah. two, it was like a 20! And we see Mundo on the player again there, he's pretty happy. He's pretty happy. And I remember Kony get it, getting scal scalded for saying that Waft can kill at like 20. But it can. It can! Especially on Smashville. So Kony, you were right all the time. With, uh, I mean, it yeah, definitely has to be a special case, which this was. I mean, he got the uh, confirm. Samuel on the eye out, mm -hmm. and he got it at the very, very edge of the stage on Smashville, the stage with the close. Just like he got, uh, you know, the, the up throw kill. It wasn't yeah. expected either, so that, that just shows that Mundo is a true wild card He is full of uh, surprises. Player. So that uh, leaves Semiron with the counter pick advantage. Now you know he wants to go to Town and City, and if Mundo is smart, he will have banned that, uh, especially because Wario, in general, doesn't kill at the top. Yeah. Usually, uh, when people counterpick versus Mundo, they end up going to something like uh, FD, I feel like. Yeah, I mean, Wario really doesn't mind too many stages at all. If you're counterpicking as Wario, you usually just want to go to where the opponent isn't like. But it is Town in City indeed, so... He did not ban Town and City, that is surprising. Not. Maybe he likes the, 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 the space Town and City provides. It does provide a lot of space, but honestly, I would be a little bit too scared to go here versus Meta Knight, but Mundo is a confident guy. Mundo likes the danger, man. Danger Mundo. He thrives on being down. 70% on Mundo after you know, a nice little combo by, uh, by Semiron. He doesn't mm -hmm. use too much Tornado, which uh, I can understand. It's not the best move, but it does do a lot of damage. And it does combo from a dash attack at, uh, at really low percent. Then again, maybe Wario's a little bit too floaty. Oh, excellent B-reverse jump. People never see it coming, man. Especially... <laughs> The way you mix it up with just goofy play, like just crawling in place. It's all subversion, man. It's part trolling, it's part subversion. Yeah, the question oh yeah, you <laughs> can't dash <laughs> attack him. You run into that bike. The question is, how will Samaron deal with this goofy play style? Yeah, man, he got like over 30% from the double bike hits, but well, what a let's trump. Yeah, he's having none of it. Meta Knight, the, the serious man he is, not up for any jokes that Wario may pull on him. Okay, now he's looking for air dodges, but we know by now that Mundo just doesn't air dodge. <laughs> Okay, camping near the bike. 
That's okay by Mundo. He gets buffed and he's in the lead. Again, looking for Erdoges. Exactly. Oh, no, Erdoges needed on that confirm right there. 87, that's a quick stock for Samiron. And this is why I told him to ban down the city, man. Yeah, you were right. No, I can't guarantee it wouldn't have killed on another stage. Yeah, this is far from over, though. And again, no Erdoges from Mundo, just a four there. Trading. Yes, that's a pretty good trade because you get out of the Meta Knight uh, juggle situation. Samuron putting more and more damage on Mundo. Mundo missing the dare. It's getting pretty scary for him. Now, the ever important question arises for Mundo. Does he want to use the Waft to clean up this stock and even it up? Or does he want to use the Waft to get that early kill on the second stock of Samuron? Mm -hmm. That's uh, that's the real question right now. Yeah, Mundo usually likes to keep it unless he's in a super perilous position where he he's, he's feeling forced to close out as quickly as possible. But if Samuron is a wise player, he'll just stay calm and lo not let the dwarf be an intimidating factor. Man, Meta Knight's wings look so dopey when he's getting jumped. <laughs> Down throw, yes, but Meta Knight, man, he's got multiple jumps and he can fly right past you. Gets Forward right. throw. Yeah, not from the middle of the stage, I'm afraid. Afraid not for Mundo. Samuron is doing a fantastic job holding onto this stock, but Yo. as I say that, the double bike hit. He is at 179, and the fourth throw cleans it up. Mundo saves his waft. Mm -hmm. Man, Samuron has been eating a lot of bike hits in this game three, man, and they've done a incredible amount yeah. of them. And Samuron had that one explosive combo, but it's actually been from at, at the beginning, and right now, uh, with Mundo in control. Yeah, man. But uh, he did hit him enough as to where the neutral air confirm will no longer lead into waft. So it's got to be falling up air or basically raw. Oh, but he misses the bike! Blue. He wanted the hitbox extension to catch the shuttle loop, but he missed the bike. Yeah. So no extension right there from Mundo. Yeah, and now, man, he's got about 40 seconds on the clock before he can use another waft to kill. It would be the half waft then. So it's time for Semiron to recompose himself after that miss waft. And he can't get antsy, but this is definitely the time to strike. Yeah, what can he do with it? And where you can be a little bit more unsafe with less risk. Another up throw by Mundo, but it's so hard to juggle this man. He's got multiple jumps. Oh, I think he should have just pop the shuttle loop right there. But that would have been it though. He's looking for it all. Okay, the bike interrupting that... Uh, Aggressive option from Meta Knight. Yeah, and for the last tens of seconds, it's been just Mundo, 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 getting <laughs> those hits. Yes. Summer. Another jump. He's trying to get that back here. But man, those multiple jumps. Yeah, this is pretty damn tense, especially since it's 1-1. One, one. Oh, he misses the turnaround. The that would have been it for Samaron if Mundo got the turnaround. And he rolls behind Samaron. Wow. If he had guessed the other way, Samaron would have closed it out right there. I mean, you we're looking at a very possible first upset of the day. Yeah, you can see in their play that they're both nervous and the down air takes it, sends him to the other side of the stage and that's it. Yeah, Muno pops off a little. <laughs> the classic. No, not just a little, man. <laughs> this is. Uh